let's do this. You ready? Ready. <laughs> so this is the first time that I'm doing any kind of Vlogmas or Vlogtober living with Ryan. So I, I just have to be comfortable vlogging in front of him more. I mean, I, are, I already kind of am comfortable vlogging in front of him, but it's going to have to be even more comfortable. You're going to have to be more comfortable. Yeah, with me vlogging <laughs> um anyway but you know it's my channel not him so he doesn't need to be in every video so it's 7 18 right now we both kind of woke up at like 6 a.m yeah the the best way for me to stay sane i think during this month and like doing vlogtober is i'm just gonna have to like keep it real with you guys and like not care about the backgrounds like it's not going to be aesthetic vlogs every day that you're not getting that but hopefully i can just take you along on my real life this month because the only way that i'm going to be able to do this for the entire month and also maintain my main channel with all the halloween tutorials i have coming and all the reviews i have to do for my horror channel so wish me luck it's about an hour later um i just thought i would come on here and tell you what's up with vlogtober this year um i do have some things written down if, like stuff i want to do stuff i want to try trying some new things on camera including like recipes cocktails art um just random things if you can think of anything that you want to see me do or try this month please leave it down below we need 31 ideas so Is that was you wanted hear everyone leaving for work anyway i'm very nervous for october i'm just gonna keep it real with you guys i'm nervous sorry i'm so washed out i can't fix that i have you guys on like a tripod this time so it's easier for me to like prop you up places and uh, have it be like level so when we go into the kitchen and do recipes and stuff it'll be so much easier also something that i want to start doing just to make sure that we have some like discussion topics and content for every single day this month. I will be answering a couple questions in every video from the previous video's comments. So leave some comments down below, whether it be just regular like topics you want me to talk about or questions that you want me to answer. And before you put Shane Dawson's Jake Paul series in the comments, I will be addressing that slightly in this video. So no need to comment that. I will share my thoughts later on in today's video, but um, I might do a video at the end of the whole series just so I get, you know, everything before I like completely jump to conclusions about the series and where it's going and stuff. So, but I will touch on the first uh, couple parts. Uh, part three actually comes out today, so I might wait to, you know, save my commentary to see what Shane says, what he edits in or out, and, you know, go from there anyway, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, leave any kind of comments, questions, anything like that down below. So, the reality of Vlogtober, it is, of course, a spin off of Vlogmas, which I'm not doing anymore, by the way. December for me is like one of the hardest months, so it just doesn't make sense mentally why I would do Vlog or Vlogmas because I just can't maintain that when I'm like struggling so badly. Anyway, Vlogmas was actually created. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but it was created to produce as much revenue as possible in the month of December because that is when advertisers pay the most towards YouTubers and like towards their ads playing on YouTube. So managers would often encourage YouTubers to post as often as they could, if not every day, participate in Vlogmas in the month of December to really like bump up their revenue. And then Vlogtober was created who knows why because it's catchy because who doesn't love October and spooky things so that's the whole reason why people do this every day is to bump revenue I just like it for vlogtober like I like doing vlogtober because it's one of my favorite months one of my favorite seasons obviously it's spooky time so it's just nice to like share what I'm doing with my life during that month I don't know I also have a couple of goals set for the month of October that I thought maybe you guys can join in with me or or, you know I could just update you every day how I'm doing with my goals one of them being I want to meditate every day I use the calm app personally guided meditations um, not spawns or anything um, which it was it's just my favorite app to use for meditation I find it the most effective for me um, oh you can see a Halloween costume in the background Oops. trying to fix this lighting for you guys I'm sorry this camera is just not not hitting it anyway so we got meditation every day also reading every day I one of my goals in life is just to be published as an author um, so in order to do that I have to work every single day towards that and since I am just 
struggling writing every day, I figured another thing I can work on towards that is reading every day, because if you want to be a writer, you have to read. So I'm currently reading Everlost right now, the series, and um, I'm almost done with book one. This Kimball's trying to try to get up on the window seal. Well, there she goes. So yeah, the goal is to read, this Kimball's brushing up on you guys, read for at least 30 minutes a day. So actually what I'm going to do is take you guys with me to my pool area. It's a place that I like to go to like work and just utilize because not a lot of people are over there. Sorry, I'm gonna move you guys again. Um, not a lot of people go obviously at this time of year, let alone this time of day being so early in the morning, but it's just beautiful outside. It's kind of cloudy. So I thought I'd take my laptop and my phone and do some work while I'm there and then maybe read while I'm there. Um, just spend some time over there. Um, highly recommend if you live in an apartment to utilize your pool area more. Obviously I'm not going in the water, but it's just nice to be next to water, even though it's not natural water. I don't know. It's actually starting to rain, so I have to head back inside. Didn't expect it to rain today, but I'll welcome it, I guess. Okay, just finished filming my Halloween tutorial. Now I'm gonna wash my face off. I don't know if I'm gonna put on more makeup. I'm kinda not feeling it. Uh, maybe, maybe I will, I don't know. You know what? No, I'm not going to. And then I'm going to take you guys with me to the thrift store. We're gonna, well, I don't know if I'm gonna take you guys, you guys with me because I'm filming a Halloween video, like thrifting Halloween stuff. So I'm going to bring the camera and film that, but I don't know how much I'll check in with you guys because I'm, it'll be confusing with all the clips and I don't know. It's 11, so I'm already doing pretty good with um, everything that I want to do today. I really like to finish early on in the day so I can just relax. Um, so that seems to be how it's going so far today. Oh, you know what though? We gotta talk about Shane Dawson. Can't leave you guys hanging any longer, right? Should I wash this off or keep this on? Or can you take me seriously with this? I don't know. You know what, we're just gonna do it. Let's have a chat. Sit down here where I just filmed my other video. Um, this tripod thing's really coming in handy, I'll tell ya. Okay, so I made a couple notes because um, <laughs> I'm that invested in the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series. Um, Okay, so obviously I'm a huge fan of Shane Dawson, first disclaimer right off the bat. You know, he's obviously not immune to criticism, but being a creator myself, I know what it's like to get, well maybe not this much criticism, but I know what it's like to get backlash on a project that you have spent so much time on and it like can destroy you. Like I'm a very sensitive person, so for me, I can't handle it. So I can only imagine what he's going through right now, given that he has spent so much, so many hours on this documentary series. So I feel for him and I do not want to come across as someone who is cruel or mean or anything like that. Um, but I do have some thoughts and I thought I'd share them in today's vlog. Just, you know, my first impression thoughts anyway. And then maybe I'll do a full video on my main channel about it and personality disorders in general because I feel like this series is just not helping the stigma around it. And it's interesting because I feel like Shane isn't grasping the criticism that he's actually getting and like the points that we're making. Like Keemstar posted a video on Twitter saying that, what was his, what was his thing? Oh, he's saying that people are saying, like the criticism is all about people being mad that Shane is diagnosing Jake Paul as a sociopath. Personally, I don't have any fault with that. Like I understand his story that he has to tell and I don't really have a huge fault with Shane in this thing except for his defense and how he is getting a little bit defensive still acknowledging the criticism but not understanding where we're coming from and like understanding the real problem here and the Keem video and Shane reposting that um and laughing about it you know that's not the point the point is not you are diagnosing Jake Paul's a sociopath it's the way that Shane is portraying antisocial personality disorder, which technically a sociopath, psychopath is the extreme of that personality disorder. So yes, he's editing it to be the extreme, but not all people are violent. He's inserting footage of school shootings and like very triggering things. And also, yes, implying that Jake Paul is a sociopath, even though he says that he cannot diagnose this, the 
therapist says she cannot diagnose without meeting him and everything like that, which is good. I'm glad they're saying that, but I don't think his younger viewers are going to listen to that or the people who already stigmatize personality disorders. They're not going to hear that. Um, they're just going to diagnose themselves, everyone around them. So that being said, Shane's editing, yes, he edited it like a horror movie. Some people thought it was funny. Some people didn't, like myself. Obviously, he's portraying it to be a horror thing which personality disorders are not horrific. Like, yes, they can be scary sometimes. Yes, some people can be dangerous with these personality disorders, but are they all like that? No. One in 25 people, Katie Morton said. Don't you think there are a lot of people functioning normally in life then, if one in 25 people have antisocial personality disorder? Anyway, I'm getting too heated. Let's move on to the therapist. She is the one that I had a real issue with, to be honest. Shane, I feel like it's just misinformation. He is, he does suffer with, with mental health issues. Um, so I know he gets it, he understands, but it's a disorder that he doesn't know a lot about. So I appreciate him seeking out a professional to help him along with this series. Not sure if he picked the right one though. <laughs> a lot of people have said that she, this is like out of the norm for her. She's normally really respectful and she posts videos on mental health and I think that's awesome. I'm almost relieved in a sense that she, this is a first for her because as someone who posts mental health videos, I would hope that she would be really respectful. But in this video of Shane's, she just comes across as completely unprofessional in the way she talks about it. And I've seen people defend her saying, She's just talking to a friend about it. She's, you know, not talking like a therapist. She's talking friend to friend, right? Even if I was like, if I was a licensed therapist and I was talking to someone about a mental illness, and even if it was a close friend, especially if I was on camera, I would not say the words icky, gross, creepy, scary. Those are all her words. I have never in my life heard of a therapist or psychiatrist, psychologist, anyone with a degree in psychology using the words icky and gross about a specific mental illness and the symptoms of it. Maybe it was edited out of context, but to me, it looked like that's what was going on in the video. She also implied that those with narcissistic personality disorder or antisocial personality disorder cannot be helped, that they, that is just the core of who they are. And that is true to an extent that is a personality disorder. It is not the same as depression or anxiety or any other mental illness for that matter. They don't think anything's wrong with them. So of course it's hard to treat and diagnose, but to say, from a, coming from a therapist saying that they can't be helped, I wouldn't want a therapist like that. And then Shane also using the defense of, oh, you can't offend people who have this disorder. Um, you know, you they don't care about this. But I've seen so many people saying, I have that and this is making me feel like a monster. People in the comments are saying we should be exiled. Um, it doesn't feel good. I've also had people say, that they have antisocial personality disorder. They feel their own emotions. They just don't feel others' emotions. They struggle with the sympathy and empathy of feeling towards others, but they have their own emotions. So it's a spectrum, you know? There's obviously people who won't care about this video at all who are diagnosed with that. And then there are those who have their own feelings about it. So I feel like him just throwing it out like, oh, they don't care, like them as a whole, they don't care. I don't think that's necessarily true. She also said that they don't have a heart, um, which I think is pretty unprofessional. Um, of course, they struggle with emotions, empathy, things like that, but that doesn't mean that they are not human. That's really how they portrayed um, those with this personality disorder is that they aren't human and they are still people. Like they still deserve the same rights as everyone else as a human. I probably wouldn't say too much about this video if it was just Shane doing this. Although I do think it's wrong him editing it like a horror movie and also like implying that Jake Paul's a sociopath, I don't know, but questioning it, if you will. But my real issue comes down to Katie Morton, honestly. So that's my my biggest thing with this video. Anyway, you can leave your thoughts down in the comments. That's pretty much all I wanna say for right now because obviously only parts one and two are out. Actually, let me check, it's 11. Let's see if he has uploaded part three. No, he has not yet. Let's see if he's said anything about uploading part three. No. Okay. So we don't know where it stands. I'll update you guys later as I watch part three. Um, but that's where my thoughts are at this point. I thought I would include this in today's vlog. It's going to make it really, really long, but I put it in the title and I figured I had owed it to you guys to at least talk about it a little bit and my thoughts because I've been asked constantly all my thoughts. So there you go. So change of plans. Instead of going out, I finished editing my entire Halloween video, which was supposed to go up on Wednesday, but looks like it's going up today. 
So I could have just showed you what I looked like earlier with full costume and everything. I guess I can show you now. So the video is exporting. It was actually really easy to edit, so I'm happy about that. That's why it's going up so early, but hey, earlier is fine with me. Um, gives me an extra spot for more content later, I guess. Um, and it's the first, October 1st, so like makes sense that I would put a tutorial up today. So I, it's about 1 p.m. A little after one, I had some snacks and just kind of like relaxing um, after editing. Once it's done, I'm going to start uploading it and I think then I will head out to go thrifting and look around for my video. Um, but yeah, this video is already so long, I feel, because of that commentary. Oh, I did start watching part three of Shane's video, but we'll touch on that a little later once I finish the actual video. I'll give you my feedback on what I thought about part three. Okay. So here's the reality of the situation. It's almost three. I haven't left the bed, basically. Um, I did post my tutorial, so I'll link that up here in case you haven't seen it on my main channel yet. I still have leftover eyeliner, and it's making my eyes look really weird. Anyway, I decided against going out and, like, thrifting and doing all of that. It just, when it gets to this part of the day, I struggle to do much at all. So I did a bunch of stuff this morning and like did the tutorial and everything and I feel really productive with that and this video of course too. So I'm gonna start editing this now and then um, I will call it a day soon but I, I am gonna show you some like more things of my day I think because I'm gonna be watching Harry Potter later. One thing I told myself is I wanted to do start a Harry Potter marathon once October hit so I'm gonna make Ryan watch Harry Potter 1 with me later today and get that get the ball rolling on that Harry Potter thing. We're also watching another movie called Trench 11 which is a World War One horror movie and it's actually really good so far so we're about halfway with that so we'll finish that one too but I don't know what else I'm gonna do with my day. I might just end the vlog here at 3 p.m. because honestly I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna eat dinner which is leftover Olive Garden and I'm gonna watch a movie so I don't know if any of that, I need to vlog necessarily. This video is long enough. So you know what? We'll end the vlog, I think. Um, it's good enough for Vlogtober day one. Hopefully it was uh, somewhat interesting. And make sure you leave some comments down below, questions, things that you want me to talk about in the next video, in tomorrow's video. And I will see you tomorrow. Can you lay down? Can you lay down, please? Thank you.